Hi, first of all, if I introduce myself, I'm Laura from the University of Salamanca, where I'm doing my doctoral thesis. The topic I'm going to talk about focuses on smoking mobile application. This study is part of my thesis, which is funded by the Ministerio de Universidades. In Spain, tobacco is the second most uh, widespread psychoactive substance in the population and causes more than uh, 50,000 deaths per year, being the cause of 30% uh, of all annual deaths. One of the most used interventions in recent years for the treatment of smoking are mobile applications. This is because smartphones have become a basic element of our daily life. There are currently around 325,000 health applications. But, for example, a mobile application for smoking cessation suffer three important problems. First, the theoretical uh, evidence they are based uh, is unknown. Second, the empirical results are inconclusive and uh, the, the most part only include simplistic elements such as calculators. The main objective of this study is to carry out a content analysis of mobile application to quit smoking. The present study examined the content of free application in Spanish to quit smoking available in the App Store between November and December 2021. A total of 168 applications for iPhone were identified through the words de de fumar, fumar and stop smoking, of which 29 met the selection criteria. The main objective of the application considered for the analysis was calculators an application to gradually quit smoking. It should be noted that even though the download was free, many of the components were blocked and the user had to pay for them. It is important to highlight that the most of uh, the application developed outside of Spain and by individuals or private, private companies. Regarding the main components when installing the application, it was observed that in less than half of the application, the user create a profile only to evaluate nicotine dependence through the Harvestone test. And the similar results are observed in relation to evaluation of the motivation to quit smoking. The general components of the application are receiving price or budget or receiving updates of their project progress. Uh, many of them saw progress through graphs of cigarette not smoke, money saved, improved health, and time without smoking. Most of the applications include notification, and more than half include general advice, but only two include personalized advice considering the information provided by the user. Finally, it is important to highlight that of the total of the application, only 31% of them were found to have been evaluated. In conclusion, it's true that there are applications that can help you during the attempt to quit smoking, but majority they are not based on empirical evidence. It is important to note that uh, this study was limited to iPhone application and the App Store, and on the other hand, the search was limited to the applications that appear for the search terms.